All right, guys, from the Facebook um, post, there was some requests to show how, how do you actually do this. And it is actually very easy to do. And um, basically what I'm going to show you here is, so with the new E-Edge e template that everybody has kind of been raving about, how clean and polished it looks. And again, there's there's no comparison on Leap Capture when you try to compare E-Edge to E-Agency. The E-Edge site has the best Leap Capture between the two, bar none. Until Wolfette can get caught up with their IDX, they just don't have a great enough solution for Leap Capture. Um, so what we want to do, if you want to take your e-agency site so here is just a plain e-agency site uh, it does have a custom banner i'm not going to go into how to make the custom banner um, you guys can make your own custom banner try to make it as clean as possible um, you can use publisher or whatever you want to do to make make that photo up there uh, but to get your website to basically look and i'll just do this real quick so we had a guy uh, mike sula and he owns mikesula.com but on his business cards um, he had put mike sula dot your kw agent so he has this great eEdge site that he wants his clients to go to and his business cards say mikesula.yourkwagent.com and they were going there. So what we did is we took that website and we converted it into this. So now when they're on this site, they are just like the eEdge. All of these buttons are functioning just like the eEdge website. It's clean, it's easy. And you can actually do quite a bit more with this if you wanted to, but I'm gonna do the basics here. So they do a search, boom, they're jumping right to Mike Sula. Um, uh, .kw Realty and getting onto that eEdge site where the true lead capture happens. So to do that, to convert this website into something that looks a lot like this and basically looks just like your eEdge website, functions just like your eEdge website, here's all you have to do after my rambling. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go back to my KW. I'm going to start from there each time I do something. So from my KW, To get to the e-agency website, that's what we want to change. So I'm going to go to the plus sign here, then e-agency website. And what I want to do first is I want to get rid of this left-hand menu. I don't want that to show up. So to do that part, we're going to go into 2.0. Nice. Sorry, this thing is going really slow. I hope it's not this way for the whole video. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to go to 2.2, choose style font color. And then we want to go into this advanced CSS editor. So click on that, and you should have a blank one here if you've not done anything to that. Go to the, the post here on the edge, and I'll also post this down in the comments, and copy from, and it has to be copied just like this, copy from body all the way to there, to the um, that little last bracket. Copy that text. Jump back here and just paste that right in. Choose the yes button and hit submit. So what that has done is, I'm going to refresh your website and I'll show you what it does. It gives it the white background and it should get rid of this left-hand menu. Perfect. All right, so now we got rid of that. Now what we need to do is make this um, area right here in the middle look like the eEdge website. So when they interact with it, they get those uh, the same results as if they would if they were on my eEdge website. So what I'm going to do is I'm jumping to Debbie's um, eEdge website. The first thing I want to do is... I want to copy these text buttons and it'll automatically copy the um, links that they go with as well so your buttons here so all i did to do that and this is in chrome um, i guess i haven't tested this in all the other browsers is get my mouse just outside of the pointer hold down and drag just a little bit left um, and then it should just highlight you just want the text copy that and then what we want to do is go into 1.5 and I am going to delete all of that and just paste that in and hit save. So let's just take a look at the progress we've got. Hit refresh. And we should have, there it is right there, okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to get the big search button box in here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these focus boxes if you have those focus boxes. I don't want them to have any buttons that go to the e agency website. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to go to um, 2.0. 2.3 is your focus boxes. Go to layout, page layout, and choose layout number four. Hit save. I could go a lot faster, but I just want to show you the progress we're making here and what we're actually doing. Uh, so when I refresh, they should be gone and we should just have that in the bottom. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put that big image in here of Debbie's website. So 
I'm going to jump to your, so this is the way I do it, um, and you may have a different solution to do this, but I'm just hitting my print screen on a PC. Um, I'm not a Mac user, I don't know exactly, I know you guys have a screen capture um, button as well. And I'm just opening up Microsoft Paint, slide that over here, and I just control V and I'm pasting in that entire image. I've got three screens going here, so it's doing everything. And then all I'm doing is I'm just cropping this. Highlight and hit my crop button. If I want that to be the image, I'm just gonna go file, save as. And um, I use a free, I use Dropbox, I use Copy, I use a bunch of different things. I use copy.com and what it allows me to do is, I'll call this Debbie Benson, uh, whatever, I'll just call it that. If I save it into Copy, what it does is it gives it a URL because when you insert an image, you need it to be hosted somewhere. So I'm just gonna use Copy, you could use if you have the public folder in Dropbox, you can use that, but copy is probably the easiest one to do. Hit save. If you don't have copy, just go to copy.com, free account, and install it on your computer. And then what I'm doing is I'm just going to my folders button here. And then I'm going to my copy folder. And then I'm going to find Debbie. So I've got a ton of stuff in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Debbie Betts, the one that I just saved. So I'm going to right click. And then what it does, copy actions, copy the public link. So copy basically the URL of that image. Because when you insert an image, because we want that image to go right here. And I don't like using the um, KW hosted image platform because it dilutes the, the image. So what I'm going to do is go to back to 1.5. And I'm going to I'm going to insert an image and just paste in that URL that I just got. And then I'm going to make the width 950 and should automatically adjust the height. Hit OK. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to click on that image because I want to link that to when they click on it to go to the buy page of my EF website. So I'm going to go to the buy page, copy that URL. You know, I've clicked on that image, I'm linking it, paste, hit OK, and let's hit save. Let's see what we have right now. Let's refresh. And my market info jumped down. Uh, I'll fix that. Uh, but now I have that. Let's let that entirely load. Okay, let's refresh one more time. I'm not going to restart the video because I screwed that up, but just don't move that market uh, info button down there. So now when they click there, boom, they're going right to my e-agency website. If they click on buy, they're going to my e-agency website, my e-edge, I'm sorry, sell, perfect. So basically they're mirror imaging each other. Um, I should say this is mirroring the e-edge website. The other thing that I had on the other website was, and I don't know if I have this on Debbie's site or not, but I have some custom, I don't have it on her site. Um, I'll go to, um, to Mike Sulo's here. I had some custom stuff at the bottom of his. So the app. You can add those things down at the bottom of your image here if you wanted to. Let's see if I can get that to go back. It looks a little picky. I'll just leave it be for now, but that is really the, the steps that you have to do. Um, looks like I screwed up when I pasted that in. And then your website, basically, you don't have to change any of your marketing material, and now you have that new eAdge website. Your eAgency website's a nice, clean website. Um, the end result is to look something like Mike Sula, Dr. KW Agent. Look a lot like this. And my future plans here, and just to give you guys some ideas, yeah, I should have all that stuff at the bottom. So what I did on Mike's, um, sorry for jumping around here, I didn't prep for my, my video. I should have. So what I did um, was I, I copied all of this down here 
and I added it to the bottom of 1.5 of his e-agency website, so then it looks like this. But my plan here is um, to actually add more tabs up here. So if you want to have more things for your clients, um, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing because you're limited on the tabs um, in the e-edge website. So you could theoretically make this your main website, but all the searching and all the capabilities they're doing are going to the e-edge where the true lead capture happens. So, all right, enough rambling. That should do it.